Can you see yourself? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We are going to do a bedroom makeover for Jen. So I thought it would be fun to see a little room transformation. So Jed is three and a bit. Um, for a very much over my like three and three or four months. And we haven't so he's still in his cot. So we bought him a bed. We ended up going with a king single bed. We bought this feels like two or three months ago now. And they delivered the bed and it's got first of all it didn't have screws in it but it's got a massive chunk out of the side of it so this is the bed itself they're picking that up on saturday um, and re-delivering a new one so anyway this is what we're doing this room is currently our spare room slash a bit of a study uh, and we also use it as a guest room. So we're going to actually pop Jed in this room because this room, which is Jed's room, is has this very awkward built-in shelf. Now, we're renting here, so we're not going to pull this down, but it's awkwardly placed and it means that... Anyway, long story short, his room is going to be next door. I haven't done much with this room since we moved in, just because we have been really busy and I've known that he was going to get a bed anyway. I found this quilt. It's the Surf's Up quilt. And I'll show you close up. It's a really lovely quilt. Jets into trucks construction and whatnot but I didn't really want to go with the construction theme because I wanted something that he could possibly grow with when I said to Lindsay that I was doing a theme he was like a theme well, like he didn't say that but I know he was thinking it yes a theme because this is what I live for I love doing this stuff so anyway I'm doing an outdoorsy adventure camping thing because that is Jed. He loves camping and all of that stuff. So, how are you today, Mr. Jace? Jace is gearing up to standing up, I think. Isn't that right? What do you reckon? Might stand up soon? You don't have to. You can just keep being a baby if you like. How about that? Yeah? Want to see yourself? There you are. Can you see yourself? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you say bye bye now. Bye bye. Oh. Okay, so sorry about the lighting. That's not very good, is it? Mm, not great, but let's roll with it. Um, what I'm doing now is putting up a block out blind. So I've had to do this several times over the past few years because we've moved a number of times so I've got this down to a T. What I do is I got buy this complete block out fabric from Spotlight and then I get the big fat 3M strips that are used to hang pictures on the wall. I staple one side to the fabric here and then I stick them up onto the wall, up into the window. So I cut the material the size of the window. And then I attach it with this sticky stuff. And I'll show you what I do after I put it on. I'm just going to show you so as you can see that's pretty dark well you can't actually tell from this video but let me show you what it looks like in effect in here so this is Jed's current room I've got the 
line stuck up there with the 3m and what we do during the day is just roll up roll it up from the corner clip it here and then for nap times just uh, undo the clip whoa I've got a baby trying to grab the camera and then I've got block out curtains over the top of it and shut that and when the underneath blockouts closed and those are closed it's really nice and dark so that's my DIY window treatment and no that's not beautiful looking like you're not going to win any design awards but sleep wins really and while ever Jed is still having a nap in the day I'm gonna keep his blockouts firmly in place isn't that right Jace? Okay, so even though the new bed frame isn't arriving till Saturday, I couldn't help myself and I've moved Lindsay's desk out of this room and put the mattress in place. I just don't know if this is going to work very well to have the bed frame butting up against the curtains. So I might want to have the bed going that way, but then maybe it might be a bit too long and the advantage is also here he has the security of the wall um so yeah i wish i could just do this all today um this is one of his prints from baby that's a donkey um and we've also got a bear so the camping theme the bear can stay the flags can stay but what I'm thinking is I might um, like put the flags up against the wall and I want to get a string of lights to grow from corner to corner like battery operated ones uh, Target have some star ones so I'm going to see if I can find them today Hey go Bubs we're at Target picking up things we didn't come to get. Let's get back on track, eh? So I'm looking at either of these to go across the middle of the room. But I think it might look funny and too thin. Or these, which I don't know if they're boy roomish really. Hmm. Thoughts? Morning! Today is the 25th of June. So I've just got a little bit of an update today. So we were meant to receive Jed's new bed, the undamaged one, last Saturday. We've had such a saga with the company, so I phoned them on the weekend to find out the delivery time and they said we're still on back order. We've had such a hassle with this company. Um, so I just cancelled the order and then I jumped online and ordered some furniture from Mocha, which could be coming today. So I'm really excited about that. And we did originally have the timber frame, this one. Um, and we wanted timber, but I've actually gone with a um, black metal frame and I've got a dresser, a bedside table and a desk to put aside for later. Um, and the only other thing I need to get is some shelves. I've got just uh, JC with me. So anyway, we kind of got sick of waiting for the frame. So we've set up the room, but all it has at the moment is the bed on the floor and that's about it so i've got these fairy lights up which i'm calling stars and i've just um hung the battery pack on the curtain and that looks really cool at night um at night time putting jetty's bed frame together today it arrived and old one's getting picked up today. What do you think so far, Daddy? 
Yeah, what do you think about the colour? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Matches your hat, doesn't it? This matches my hat. Yeah. And also, that camera, and also, your camera matches my hat. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so the next day, the bed's in. I've just been lying here. <laughs> Lindsay and Jed have gone out and I've been like soaking up the atmosphere. So the bed frame's in. Really happy with it. I really like it. Um, Jed's first reaction was no to the bed, uh, the bed rail, but we know that he rolls out of the bed even when it's on the ground. So what I think we might do is I've heard a trick where people get a pool noodle and put it under the fitted sheet along here. So we'll probably stick with this for a little while and then see how we go with the pool noodle. I'm really glad that the wooden frame was faulty because I actually much prefer this one. So really, really, really happy with the chest of drawers that we got. Uh, this is from Mocha. The only issue with it is that it fingerprints really, really easily. They had a version of this where it was the black on the outside and the, the wood laminate on the inside. I specifically chose this one because I had a feeling it would fingerprint and that it would look horrible from the outside. So that's fine. We can live with that. Uh, this little... Uh, fake plant is from Kmart and I, I'm usually just one for real plants but I didn't want to deal with dirt and stuff in this room obviously uh, so I think it just adds a nice little bit of fun this is uh, where we keep Jed's library books we go to the library every few weeks and get a ton of books so and then in this corner this isn't going here this is a cube shelf from our playroom. I was just playing around with something that would fit in this spot and this is going to work well. But I'm just trying to decide if I should get this in the oak or the black. I'm thinking that there's already enough black. I was going to get black. Now I'm thinking the oak thing. And as for the walls, I've got a few things that still coming that I'm going to decorate the walls with. So that will be the next job and that's where we're at okay so what I'm doing today is painting this cube shelf I decided to go with just a basic Kmart cube shelf because I wanted something that was low that Jace wouldn't pull on the ground and I didn't want something that we, we would have to anchor into the walls I also didn't want to do a lot of work spend a lot of time on this so I use this primer that we already had at home. It's the Tor Torbman's Easy Coat Sealer and Undercoat. I did two coats of that yesterday. The tin says to wait two hours between coats. I waited honestly 20 minutes. I did give it um, a very rough sand beforehand on the outside, but not on the inside. And it seems to have done fine without being sanded. So that was yesterday and I used one of these little rollers which made the job easy. Today I'm going over with this paint, which is a sample pot from Bunnings in just a water-based paint, and I color matched it to the lantern from Jed's room. So I'm using this little paintbrush just first to get into the corners where it's difficult to get the roller, and then I'm gonna go over it with the roller. So I'm going to try and get this done while Jace is napping. I better get back into it.
hello welcome back okay so today is the 15th of june and this should be the last little installment of jed's new room jeds are back at daycare today i haven't had just a jace and me day for a while and this day is really needed so i finally am going to get to finish off this room before we get into that i'll give you just a peek at the room that was Jed's room that's turned into Jace's room. So I haven't done anything super different in here. I've kind of just stripped it back to nursery style, um, recycling what it was like for Jed. Um, we haven't put the side rail back on for Jace yet because Jace is still in our room. Uh, so keeping the pictures that Jed had on the wall, a new cactusy cot sheet, feeding chair there which I don't use for Jace I just use the bed I use that solely for Jed for feeding but Jace is so long uh, so yeah we use this room at night time after um, after baths to get Jace ready but he doesn't sleep in there yet oh and I just got this little uh, hook thing from Kmart I don't actually love it because of this white thing but it was cheap and cheerful and I think it looks kind of cool there with the little um, hats. Someone keeps putting that back there but I don't like keeping it there. Anyway, um, just the outdoor stoppers. So this is what Jed's room is looking like at the moment. So I popped this shelf up the other day. It's the mountain shelf which I got from Target and that's just on with 3M hooks uh this flag from target and i ended up using a stick up there rather than a dowel and this is the lamp which jed loves to just play with all day and night it's battery operated it's good for um light for stories at night but instead of keeping it here we've just hung it up there because so he doesn't just play with it all the time but i actually think it looks quite cool and this is the end result of the shelf that I painted, which definitely looks better in blue. Turned out really well. It was a really simple project. And the post box is from Kmart. And then what I did was uh, framed a lot of uh, pictures of things that he's interested in. So I've got, he loves camping. Um, he's interested in caravans because my parents have a caravan and um, his other grandparents too and then I've just printed some uh, images I found for free online of airplanes he's interested in planes uh, I just thought that was kind of cute I've got a little solar system one which might be interesting and a rocket so that's what I'm going to do now I've got the stickies on the wall for that big frame renting obviously so I can't Put any new nails and stuff in the wall i did also get this clock which i really love and i think it's a nice a really nice clock for an older kid but i f totally flipped like i didn't get one with numbers on it so i'm not sure if i'm going to put that up in here at the moment if i did it'd probably be more for our reference than jed's obviously he's three but yeah, I'll see how we go. So I'll get to work putting these up. Also, I just wanted to tell you with these frames, what I did, I wanted to have like an oak, like an, a dark woodsy sort of warm color rather than the oak color. What I did with these Kmart frames was to sand around the frame and then do three coats of a Cabot's clear cedar stain um quick coats as well i waited probably 10 15 minutes between each coat um so that's how i made that color okay i finally got the pictures up and i'm pretty happy with them i didn't know what i was doing in terms of aligning them on the wall but i think it looks pretty good I think Jed will walk in and say, well, I hate it. 
it and then he'll get used to it because that's pretty much what's happened with every single piece of this room. <laughs> he comes in and says, I don't like it. And then a little while later he goes, actually, I do like it. It's quite cute. At least I know to expect it. Now I just need to see about this clock. Okay, so we are finally finished the room. Jetty's still at daycare. I've got just got Jace here with me. And I'm going to show you the, the final room. So this is it. This is Jetty's new big boy adventure room. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed watching me put this room together. And if you enjoyed it, give me a like, um, a follow, whatever you want, blah, blah, blah. Thank you for watching. Bye. Come on. You're being excited. So you like it? Mm. Yeah? I'm happy. You happy with it? Which which thing do you like best at the moment? The clock. The clock, you love that clock? I'm glad you like it.